That's Fart good. knocker. Very good. First thing I edit out. Uh, <laughs> how, much, uh, uh, how much thought did you put in this? Very little. It was a very spur of the moment thing. Um, canon in this game is the movies and the Clone Wars series. As I have not read any of the extended universe. It's good stuff. You should read it. And I have yet to watch the Rebels series because oh, it's not on Netflix. Yet. I do intend is to. Who, Some of my reasoning movie. is just so like. No arguments end up detracting and making this not fun, but also everybody at the table has at least seen the movies. Uh, when, what are we playing? <laughs> Star, one, five. Star the oh, Trek of man. Wars. Um, <laughs> <laughs> His brain's going to explode in a moment. So basically when we're talking about like a discussions of lore or what we think should happen or how things happen, I can be swayed either way, but part of me saying that only the movies are canon is because now everybody has a very somewhat equal level to discuss things with. So. I'll have to take everybody's word for it because for my memory Federation. sucks. Not a huge fan of uh, the new one is what you think in of the movie? Then? Because they did some ridiculous stuff to the Force. Um, I enjoyed it enough to see the second well, one. Honestly, we're, we're way in the past compared to that. That's not for another... Well, the, yeah, we're like 30 years in the past compared yeah, yeah. to that movie. So. The only thing oh, I yeah. seriously have an issue with I thought the first time was when he throws the blaster bolt, when he let it go, it should have just dissipated because it had no forward momentum. Movie physics. Well, the thing is, is it it's cool. canon now. So we don't know what happened to him. There's no evidence of his actual death. There's a bunch of debris. There's no evidence that anything survived. Also, whatever whatever scavenger ships have tried to go into that newly made asteroid field X planet, none of them ever come out. You are aboard a rebel ship, Heavy Dreadnought class, known as Monochrome Horizon. It is uh, manned by a Commander Gaius, a Gran. The differences of this particular ship is that it is mainly focused on, one, people who are new to the Rebel Alliance. So it's, really it's a training ship. Usually there are three diplomatic shuttles out at any time and three, uh, we'll call them clean ships. They're basically free trader smuggler ships that the Rebel Alliance have been using for secret operation groups, such as yourselves. This ship's Main priority is to spy on various hut cartels in order to gain information to help rebel diplomats. And that's what you guys have been doing for a while, be it stakeouts or just, just boring work because you guys are new and they don't trust you quite that well yet. My cousin died to get the information that, that got started. So, at this point, I will say go around and introduce your ourselves and any name. backstory i will say that anything that you say as a part of your backstory will be known by anybody else in the party as small chat you've had during your introductory missions or training the white book again my name is laren i'm a bothan and you know next to nothing about me but i'm pretty drkd4 so <laughs> i am a stolen uh drk1 droid from the empire who was reprogrammed to work for the rebellion and i uh instead of communicating with beeps i use a hollow projector to project the image of a female imperial officer and communicate that way my name is Velgros. i am a keldor those ones with the nice. masks and the uh, he spent most of his early life on the home world and uh as part of a mission to seek out no, it's part, of, it's part of a desire to seek out, you know, his uh, grandfather and, you know, his whereabouts or fate. My name is Calissa. If you've worked with me at all, you know I'm a procurement specialist. I've been a smuggling pirate for a long time. I've had to hide from people here. I have no idea. Syrian. Thank you. So I'm a spare. <laughs> Korean. Korean. <laughs> Me a little ignorance letter. My name is uh, Cha Ray Moon. I spend a lot of time in meditation. I mean, I'm approachable. I'm not fur to be 
Hey, chop. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, hey, yeah. can I bother you? Well, I was about to reach enlightenment, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> about to meet the Grand Buddha, but no. Let's work on your problem. I lost my keys. Oh, you lost your keys. Another thing you would have noticed with uh, running with this guy is his blaster only has a stun setting. <clears throat> but it's very good at stunning things. So you're harmless. Sorry. Mostly harmless. <laughs> I was going to say, it's not that hard to murder somebody when they're unconscious. That's true. Is that because it has less fighters when two of the clean ships are out, they usually keep one in the hangar in case of an attack, so they have extra firepower to protect. So you guys have been on, like, standby from your last mission for, I don't want to say, anywhere from, like, a week or two to a month. I bought my time playing that stupid chess-like game, Jarak or something like that. Would you be just hovering by the commander all the time? Like, I don't, I don't know what your set path <laughs> would be. Like, who are you mostly attached to? Yeah, I assume the ship. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is there an official commander of our unit? He is the one who tells you. I mean, within the unit. Nope. Enjoy those party politics. When you're at Gaius, he gets a notification that one of the clean ships has landed. Uh, two of them. Some of the crew hey, Rob, takes a ship we'll see who that you guys have been using away. Uh, tells you to be four to B. Basically, briefing room B. Go gather these guys. Can yes. I have four green dice, please? We're rolling to see who wins our game of chess. Uh, <laughs> I got one. I got three, uh, or two and three advantages. I hate this game, and I walk away. <laughs> okay, so I just plug in, radio them on the comm. Go get things. them, and then bring no, them to the I room. I could do that. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> so I hover in, I and you guys are playing zero. talents. You guys are playing a game. Yep. Well, I just lost a game, but, you know. Commander Gaius requests your presence at the Atrium 4. All of us? Yes. Are we all together? I don't know. <laughs> if we're not, then I'm assuming uh, he would go and seek us uh, out. Uh, I will gather the rest of the crew if you will meet me there. To, um, <laughs> alert all of you individually. Um, they were together, so I just. The atrium is sort of probably like as good as you know. The first movie briefing room. There's okay, okay, this one on the ISD are the ones that are really. My pleasure, Commander. Is there there anything else insane. I can do for you? I guess sit record the information so. In case anybody forgets what they're supposed to do. Oh, good! You're the note taker for the game. <laughs> I'm anything capable of sitting. Hover then. Then float. <laughs> Thank you, Commander. You guys are finally off of standby, and finally, you have a mission where you'll be interacting with people. A hut on Ryla. Uh, she's known as Nauka. Usually, getting most of her money, what we suspect, through smuggling other pe other hut goods. We do not know the scope of the operation, which is why you are going in. You are going in as escorts, guards, for one of our diplomats. So, the mission is twofold. One of you needs to make sure, of course, that our diplomat is safe at all times. Whether you just rotate in and out, who's keeping her company, I don't care. Meanwhile, everybody else... Gather information, whether it be talking with junk, drunken patrons that are already there, whether it's that be sneaking in and downloading information from a computer terminal. Rumors, facts, whatever we can use. Oh, also, if you're going to do the terminal route, don't get caught, obviously. You're going in as part of the diplomatic envoy. You get caught, we're fucked. <laughs> and not in a good way, I guess. No. What is our diplomat's stated reason for being there? What is her purpose? She was invited to the party. She was invited. Six six uh, people in her entourage? It's probably one of the smaller entourages, uh, yes. given it's a hut cartel. Yeah. Also, I know that you guys were getting attached to one of your ships. However, it was beginning to stand out with all the additions of weapons and armor. So it has been... <coughs> What did I tell Sorry. you? <laughs> so it has been Sorry. moved to the front lines, and you have been given a new clean ship. All that work. My ship! It, well, it wasn't yours. It was... When you go down to the requisitions officer, who will give you your regular weapons if you lack pistols or flak jackets of any sort, flak jackets of any sort. he will also register the name of the ship. He took my ship. And gave you hunt? a new YT-2400. 
Oh, that was nice. I, I think we should uh, call it Century Hawk. Dang it! I was just about to write that down, too. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. It also, like the last ship, has the equivalent of an Enigma machine, which will allow you to get codes when you enter near another rebel base so you won't immediately get shot down. This, of course, also means that if you suspect that ship of being captured, you need to blow it up. The Eon Eagle. Requisition officer knows you guys are coming. Head down there. Gear up. Fly out within 24 hours. Dismissed. Good luck on your mission. You're going to. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Don't sound so glove floating ball. It'll be fun. Port to the ship, Katie. Yes, sir. Hey, um, Blaster Carbine, do you have any problem with me taking one of those? It's like the lightest of the, or the lesser of the, uh, range weapons. Yeah, Blaster Carbines, um, light blaster pistols. Can I vibro sword? No vibro swords. A vibro dagger. dagger. I can do a vibro dagger. Actually, hey, uh, there is a couple weaponry. of grenades, but Can't the requisition me. officer oh. is refusing any questions regarding grenades as he does not believe it is mission specific. Also, for just for my imagination's sake, he's a Tordarian with an Irish accent. Because there's no Irish accents in Star Wars. <coughs> Fuck that jazz. Ah. Irish accent. <laughs> but there is a Scottish accent in the new one. I'm gonna go ahead and take some padded armor. Why I'm not? gonna be dressed up as entertainment. Well, you would probably have a training. A training right there? Which is basically a lightsaber that only does stun. Mm -hmm. Except <laughs> light baton! Uh, <laughs> it's, it's a glow red. <laughs> Running diagnostic. How's the shit? It's good. Like, except for the fact that your Enigma encoder is, it is literally smuggled fresh off the factory floor. Well, after I get my gear, I'm going to go check out the ship because I'm looking for some extra special places to hide things. I'm already going to check out the ship. You know, no, it probably doesn't have uh, hidden compartments because those aren't stuck. Yeah, but I have a skill to we can take make that happen. Stock. We got stock. Gain well, hidden storage in vehicle or equipment with total encumbrance equal to rank. So, so she finds them. The Maybe diplomat is ship. waiting, like at the doorway. Like anybody we've ever go, heard of yeah, before. Yeah, so like every tell for people to come by. Anybody we've ever heard of before? They uh, fly with diplomat mm -hmm. as you are going to ride off. I float over to the uh, diplomat. This is a mailer. Good evening, ma'am. I have downloaded Doros for your uh, uh, for your language pleasure. Would you like to hear it? Please just take me to my room. Absolutely. <laughs> room hasn't been assigned yet, so you can choose any room you like. There is a large state. In the cockpit. There is a larger state room, um, which I think is uh, usually regulated for the captain's quarters. Do you have an assigned captain yet? No, there's not been a captain assigned to the ship yet. Quarters. Of course, this way. <laughs> I want the quarters that are closest to an exterior exit. Anything else you require? Tea. Thank you. Oh, great. Hot. What kind of tea would you require? There are over 275,000. 16 varieties of tea in this database. Not toxic. There are now four choices <laughs> for tea in this database. For your physiognomy. I will bring it. I'll bring it to you as soon as I can. She is thankful, but in the reserved way, where not even if you were not a droid would be able to tell. She is uncomfortable with the fact that she has to go to home. To, yeah, to Ryloth and see her enslaved cousins in a hut. As you wish. Would you like me to um, seal the doors for you? I can lock them myself. Very well. Enjoy your trip. <laughs> Very well. Enjoy your trip. <laughs> so, who's going to fly it out of the hangar now? Uh, probably the pilot. That would be me. Okay. Go ahead and roll. And one of you needs to navigate, too. I'm flying. I'm pilot. What a good lord. My agility is two. Two, okay, and I know how, how many ranks do you have in the yeah. pilot skill? Oh. Um, I'm not having any um, Here's the difficulty because you're flying out of a hangar that might as well be pushing you out. Astrogate. Zero out. success and three advantage. 
What does that mean? <laughs> uh, if you don't get any successes, you fail. Yeah. Okay. You managed to start the ship without breaking anything. <laughs> All systems are good. You just haven't managed to figure out how to make it lift. It's those three <laughs> switches, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Despite you are not getting off the ground, your droid, however, has plotted a course that will take... That will... Get, get us there faster than yeah. we ought to. Okay. Do, do it again. That's what we're going to do. <laughs> you got a success and one advantage this time. Yes. So cool. The ship takes off. <laughs> Gets up and takes off.